folks, this is Unit 13, and this is the 11th episode of the Build Em All series, or should I be specific and say uh, the 11th point one episode. Uh, today, we're going to be building with a Luke Fincher. Say hello, Luke. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, if you enjoy this video, then like and subscribe, and you should definitely go and check out Luke's music. Um, I will leave the links down in the description. So today, I think to start, it would be a good idea to show you what we've already built and hopefully teach you a little bit about the law building that we're doing so far. Let, let's just drop you in right at the start. It's a magic school with like trials built into it to, for people to complete so they can get like items and enchantments and stuff. You know. Yeah, it's uh, fun. It's fun. It's a little bit of fun. It's all a little bit of fun. So this is the courtyard. It's uh, still quite simple at the moment. Just put in some water and some fish, which was the first time I caught fish because I play this game vegan. Um, and yeah, it's pretty basic. Like, I eventually want to put some, like, floating blocks here on fire or, like, soul fire or something to make it look a bit magical. Kind of being, like, my signature sign of magic in the game. Um, and when I say signature, I mean with, like, the other five people I potentially play with. Um, and, yeah, this is the courtyard. Like, I'm quite happy with it, though. And then you came in and did those lamps. Oh. <laughs> you were happy with it, and then I came in and did those lamps. <laughs> no, I'm saying you did those, Is in, I'm happy with how this looks. I did not do the lamps, that's what I'm saying, Is in. The lamps really make the whole area look like, I don't know, just a bit more castly and not just grey. Yeah, no, I get that. The one thing that, uh, I, I, that I would like to do with these is make it slightly asymmetrical so they're not all the same height. Um, but... That'd be cool. They'll make it look a bit more magical as well. Right, so this section is like the tower drawbridge. Um it will it will end up having some more decoration on the outside but i needed something to get me in the mood for what i was building so this whole entrance area which i will fly out and come back oh look at that all oh, that is nice with the tower as well now i'm not really sure what my inspiration for the tower was it was more block placing and hoping for the best but um, the inside is not finished. But I needed a staircase so I would stop dying every time I fell. I've literally based all my other designs on this. <laughs> but yeah, um, doesn't really have an interior at the top. It's going to be more of a uh, pretty building rather than a building with a use. But I'm sure we could put like chests and stuff up here that... You know, I mean, uh, I use this all the time to like challenge myself to see how precise I can be with my flying and see if I can get into this little hole. I fail most of the time, but you know, Wee. it's all good old Minecraft fun, isn't it? Oh, exactly. Oh, exactly. And we have this lovely area. Would you Would you like to explain this lovely area? It's not very complete, but I we had. I can't remember what we started doing first. I can't remember if I started doing this garden first or I started doing that tower over there. But I knew that I wanted, like, dormitories to be over there. So I thought it'd be cool for them to have, like, you know, the students of uh, this school to walk across a little grass garden area. Uh, we've got a pumpkin patch over here. Um, we've got a nice big old spring, uh, a bit of water. So 13's put like this little bin here, which I think is great and actually looks quite nice. I didn't even notice it for a few days. Um, and then, yeah, it's eventually going to be filled out with some more trees, some more flowers, uh, maybe. Yeah, probably just like trees and flowers. I don't know what we're going to do with this cave down here. It kind of connects to some other stuff, so we could do some cool. I don't know. But, yeah. See, I was then, thinking like a mystical creature down there that, like, I don't know, just kind of oh, trapped. That would be cool. Uh, then you did this area over here. 
Yeah, so um, you might be able to see that over on that side, like the grey scaling with the green. Because this is a mountain biome, the green isn't as luscious as, you know, my base uh, in the jungle. So it, it really needed like warmer tones. And obviously path blocks are fantastic for adding a bit of warmth, but it needed some more. So I thought Podzol grew these huge spruce trees and put in this wheat farm, which, you know, people have got to eat. People have got to eat. You know, wizards still have to eat. So I thought food and this lovely little waterfall section that kind of just encompasses this entire area with some added other colors but then you have this gray with these browns and yellow hues with this like blue strip through the middle and i don't know it's just i oh i do like it i like it at night i like it at day um just this whole little area going up to your um towers just look awesome Obviously, the towers look awesome as well. Don't get me wrong. I definitely just put way too many hours into this. <laughs> yeah, this tower, we haven't really... Well, I say we. I haven't finished it yet. Um, there's, like, a temporary... Did you do this, by the way? What? This little, like, oh, temporary yeah. entrance. Oh, okay, good. Because I thought, oh, my God, did a creeper go up here? But, no, um... like, I, I just couldn't... Um, I was like, is is there a way in? And then I was like, no, I don't care, yeah. went through. So this, yeah, this tower is just going to peep out. Um, so I actually, I built this like little ladder thing here just so I could get down and just work out how deep I needed to go. But I'm going to carry on building the tower underground so it's going to keep going. Um, and then we'll go down. This is the start of the dormitories. This is where our players will come and sleep each time they're in between tasks. They've got little chests to put their stuff in because we'll probably ask them to come here with no equipment, no nothing. Um, and they'll, you know, we're going to design it so they can progress through. And then what I actually think is like quite nice about this tower is I've left the top open. So when, no matter where people are coming from, because the tasks that we're going to create for them, I'm sure we'll take them off campus and to other parts of the castle over there and over there. So they can just fly in and out. And I think that's quite well, if they've got an elytra, which obviously they'll have to earn. So when you come straight through the courtyard, you can walk up towards where the actual school will be. Um, this whole area needs to be like terraformed to sh like, you know, um, this whole area here. I don't want stone anywhere around here because I want it to be predominantly grass with like the mountain peaks, if you get what I mean. Um, but exposed stone just looks incredibly boring. But you have these two bits that are like starting pillars and just this whole area, as far as ye I could see, will probably be the school. It is going to be a very, very large area um, that it takes up because I'm pretty sure I've calculated that it needs about 36 rooms and each one of those rooms needs to have enough space for lore, for chests, for... Um, secret cubby holes and so on and so forth. Oh, and traps. Yes, yeah, and traps. We're gonna have a lot of traps. I want these bitches to feel unsafe. Oh, hey. teamwork makes the dream work. So I think I'm gonna take a little break from this project and go to the nether which I think is this way. Yeah, it is. Um, because, uh, hold on, hold on. Let, let's back up. Come on, back up, back up. wonder what zooming in does. You looking at me funny? Oh, that's better, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I'm going to go to the nether because I need ancient debris because I think it's about time to upgrade my diamond armor for netherite armor. 
but I'll probably be ready by next episode. So I thought maybe I'll just show a few clips of me just detonating a few bits um, using beds in the nether because if you try and sleep in the nether the bed will detonate and it has a larger detonating capability than TNT so it's actually far more worth it and then detonate. Right so after a pretty pretty rubbish start I've found a bit, one bit and um, I, I stopped recording before because I may or may not have got very, very angry at the fact that pretty much an entire lava ocean kind of fell in on me. And I didn't die, but it definitely did cheese me off slightly. So I gave myself five minutes uh, to go away, have a beverage, and then come back. And I'm lucky I did because on my second time, I've actually got some. So... You know, perseverance pays dividends. Yoink. Already got a few bits from where I have randomly found ancient debris. Um, just in higher parts of the nether. However, the, uh, the probability of them being down here is much higher, I believe. So that's, that's just what I'm going to go with. Ooh. One, two, three, and four. Uh, uh, ba, 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 da, ba. Bang! Da, 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 da. All right, let's smelt my one piece of ancient debris up. Ah, goody! That was a good 45 minutes of my life that I'm never going to get back, but I believe that does. Bring me to four pieces of nether... Uh, what's it called? Netherite scrap? Yeah, I thought so. Oh, ready? Are you ready for this? Oh, Marie. Yes, have a look at that. What should I upgrade, though? Should it be my sword? Should it be my helmet? I mean... Should it be my pickaxe? I mean, this does all make perfect sense to me, but I think it's got to be my sword. Oh, okay, let's have, let's have a look. Yes. Oh, that's fitting. All right, let's come on. Let's go find something to kill. <gasps> a chicken. Oh. <laughs> Cows. <laughs> Suck it. All right, let's try and do another flying swoop, eh? Oh, yes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I love doing that. No animals survive around me for very long. Well, I mean, in real life they do. Here they don't. I have been filming without my shaders on now, and none of you lot decided to tell me. I can't believe you folks would do me like that. See, I was wondering why everything didn't look that cool, and now I know why. It's because of all of you lot. I can't believe it. you got to tell me next time. Yeah, uh, on that note, I could probably go back to... Um building now to be honest procrastination time is over let's get on
Well, that is another tower built. Luke did a fantastic job. Still needs some ruining, but the basic shape is there. And that's really the whole point when it comes to builds where things are quite big. You may have seen um, I have started building the school. But, you know, as long as you can get a general shape out and uh, get your sort of ideas onto Minecraft itself afterwards, it's just a case of going back through, taking out certain blocks here and there, replacing them with other ones, just to make it look not as not as neat as this. This goes all the way down to a corridor that is connected to that tower. But there will be classrooms and things like that down there as well. So I think most of history is meant to be down in here. And that's an interesting point as well. Because we haven't spoken that much about the law. So pretty much the people who play this will have to come here and basically take classes. Now, it may seem pretty boring to take classes in Minecraft, but it's not really classes. It's more of finding little things out which will allow you to progress in the story. But each time that you obtain new pieces, you get new pieces of uh, enchanted armor and so on and so forth. And, you know, it's just a way of kitting people out with another set of armor Doing stuff like that for your friends on a server is, is you know, kind of awesome. And I get to brag a little bit because, you know, I'm the one supplying most of this. So, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So, come on, let's, let's, let's take you down here because this is incredibly rough currently. But I think it's starting to get there. Now, before, there was a big flat space that you would come up from here. And there'd be nothing here. But there is stuff here now. These, I need to find an excuse to incorporate them into this. Because down here, I'm not going to lie, I do like this. And I do very much like the bone mill. Gener uh, farm generator, whatever um, that's down in there. You come up here, you come around this corner, up these stairs, this won't be there. You come into the main hall, which will allow you to go up, down, along the corridor, towards more classrooms, which will be built as a separate building here. It will be like a big hallway, well, not hallway, like a big hall type thing. But at the moment, it's just trying to get my shape in and adding little extra shapes to those shapes to enhance the shapes that were there before. Um, but I think when you start doing stuff like this here, it really starts giving you that, that mental juice that you need to carry on with builds because, you know, you have dark colours here and lighter colours up here and it will progressively get lighter and some of these panels will be, you know, they won't be red terracotta. It just happens to be that that's what I had in an abundance. But it will become sort of a reddish tone. But there'll be more greys in there like here. It's not going to stick out like a sore thumb. But yeah, right. Let, let, let me know what you thought of the episode. Um, part two will be out in a couple weeks. Uh, when this is done, pretty much. And... This whole area should be pretty good. And then the third episode is when we start building the trials. Mm. You, you like the sound of that? You like the sound of the trials? Well, watch, watch my videos, please. Uh, like and subscribe because that would be incredibly helpful. Thank you so much for watching and bye-dee-bye. -bye.